And I honestly and ultimately think that that is what got me the interview and then my personality. What's up you guys? It's Adana, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you haven't already done so and if you're new to this channel, go ahead, take a look around. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can know every time that I put a new video out. Also, follow me on Instagram at Adana the PA. So, um, this video is going to be about the whole, like my whole application slash reapplication process. So the mistakes that I made in my first applications and then how I changed that to get into PA school, like, you know, how I feel I changed that to get into PA school. When I was originally applying to PA school, I thought that I kind of was just gonna like wing this thing, right? You know, like I, I told you guys before, like I applied to some schools um, like in the Caribbean and stuff and I got into those and I was like, all right, well, if I can get into some med schools, then I can absolutely get into PA school. Nope. And I was wrong. So that was like my first mistake, just kind of thinking like, oh, okay, I can just go ahead and apply to PA school because I got into med school, so why not, right? And from that mistake, I learned that I needed to do my research. And that's why I'm always telling you guys, do your research. You've heard me say that many, 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 many times before. And um, I had to learn the hard way. And this was one of the reasons why. Um, I had to do my research on PA school, the prerequisites, what I had, what I did not have, because I didn't have some of the prerequisites. I had a biomedical sciences major. And for my major, I only needed like a general psychology. But for PA school, they want abnormal or developmental psych and I didn't have those. So I was applying and I didn't even meet the requirements. Stupid, right? So for me, I did that research. Another mistake that I made was just kind of not really going through my GPA and making sure that it was exactly um, the GPA requirements for those particular programs. And that along goes with doing my research. So um, I thought that I met like some of the GPA requirements of the 3.0, science. Um, I met the 3.0 with respect to cumulative, but when I went through my CASPA, I realized, hey, I didn't meet the science GPA because CASPA calculated one of the courses that I took that was not considered a science course at my program, but CASPA considered it a science course. And I didn't do as well. I think I got like a, maybe a B minus or something like that in it. Um, or like, yeah, like a B or a B minus in that. And so from that, I was like, man, I have to redo this. Like I, I, didn't, this is not the GPA that I should have. Like, I think it was a, like a 2.9 something. I'm like, what? A science GPA of 2.9? And, you know, I thought like, okay, well, it's right there. I, I will be okay. I can, I can, you know, kind of slide on by and that is not the case. Um, they're looking for any opportunity that they have to kind of weed students out because they're getting so many applicants, right? So with respect to that, I had to make sure that I went back, I took my prerequisites and I took some science courses over. I made sure that I got better grades in those courses that were lower so that I could raise my GPA because it wasn't at the requirement. Along the lines of that, I also made the mistake of, again, not doing my research and seeing that, hey, my courses were running old. So when I decided to go to, you know, the whole, go through the whole application process of PA school, there were certain courses, certain science courses that needed to have been done within like five years, seven years, 10 years, and then some like within the last 12 or so, 12 to 24 months. And the crazy thing is that each program has their own requirements on that. So there's nothing, it's not standardized across the board. And so that made it really difficult for me because I thought, oh, okay, you know, this is like the MCAT. This is like MCAS, right? So if I fill out the MCAS, like it's standard for med schools, like that's it. That's all I have to do. And I can apply to how many of our med schools I wanna to apply to. But that's not the case for PA school. Um, you literally have to go to each program that you're looking at and see like, all right, so how many years or how old can this um, anatomy course be? How old can this micro course be? So all of your science courses, you know, do they need to have been completed within the last seven years or five years? And for me, that was a mistake that I made because some of those courses were either old 
or were going to be old by the time I applied. And that was some of the stipulations. And so I went through my GPA. This was a difference that I changed. Um, I went through my GPA and I looked at all of those courses and I made sure, okay, and is this going to be old within the next year to two years? If it was, I retook it, um, especially if it was a science course, because it was mainly with respect to your science courses. And so I made those, de those decisions to retake those courses. I took them over. I made sure that I got A's in them because I knew that that would not only help me going in to application, but help my GPA. And so I did that. Um, and I think that that helped me as well get into PA school. Um, the last thing that I feel like I did differently, which Nesta, which doesn't fall under the do your research umbrella was my personal statement. I used the same personal statement for PA school that I used for med school uh, because I was like, hey, they're both, you know, medical professions. Let me just like tweak a little thing here and there and kind of send it off. Nope. Wrong. First off, my personal statement for med school was trash. Oh my gosh, it was trash. If you have not seen that video of me reading my personal statement, me and my husband talking about it, and then like how I changed up my personal statement um, for the cycle that I actually got in, please go right now. Um, I will leave maybe like a little cue box or a description uh, like link in the description box for you guys to go watch that because that was important. Um, I really think that the personal statement is like one of the single most important parts of your PA school applications. That is what is going to get you into the interview. And it's it's your opportunity to tell people about like who you are as a person, apart from the paper that they see with all these grades and the wonderful things that you've done. And so my personal statement was trash. So ultimately I was trash as an applicant, right? Like there was nothing like boosting me up, you know? Like I didn't have like, you know, these super stellar, um, you know, science GPA because like I said I had to go retake some of those things and then I had this trash personal statement and so once I like buckled down I did my research I really looked at all the things I needed to do I decided hey I need to change this personal statement I am not the same person that I was like three four or five years ago whatever it was that I wrote that personal statement in my junior year of undergrad um, I'm a mom now I'm a wife now I've had like some life lived I've worked so it was important for me to address those aspects of my life, and I did. And I changed my personal statement around. Um, I thought it was a very strong personal statement. And I honestly and ultimately think that that is what got me the interview. And then my personality <laughs> is what got me into PA school. Um, but those were the mistakes that I've made, and then those were the things that I changed to kind of make myself a better applicant to get into PA school. And so for you all who are looking at this um, and you're like, all right, you know, I don't wanna make some of these same mistakes. My main takeaway, my main take home point is do your research. If you do your research um, and you kind of just look at these things and you see, hey, you know, I'm here, I wanna do this, and you do the little comparison sheet that I've talked about, then I think that you will be very prepared for your application, um, ultimately your interview, and then PA school. If you have any further questions for me, please leave them in the comment section below. If you have not already done so, like this video and follow me on Instagram at Adana the PA. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!